Good evening, hello once again audience. Today, we're going to be talking about setting up your brand new R4 Gold Pro 2020 edition. As you can see right there, 2020. So, if you bought the R4 Gold Pro package, what you're going to get is of course the R4 Gold Pro 2020. You're going to get the microSD reader. And, depending on what seller you buy it from, you might even get a little 4 gig micro SD card, which is very helpful. Now, the guy I bought it from was very, very happy to serve me. You can pause the video and read that. But, he installed all the firmware in a bunch of ROMs for me. So, he hooked me the crap up, but I'm still going to go through the setting up process. So, as you can see, there's a little URL on the very bottom of the Gold Pro. You, I can't really focus in on it, but we're gonna head over to the, oop, wrong thing, there we go. We're gonna head over to that URL. So www.r4isdhc.com, and then sure, 2020. And then click on the first link and head on down to the R4 download, R4 Gold Pro 2020, and then kernel download, you're going to want to hit English. And then we do not need to upgrade the firmware. So after you've done that, we are going to give me a second. Save this to the desktop. Move it yeah. And I'll show you it over here. I have a few little I have a GBA backup tool and a D DLD eye patcher. Don't need to see that. So open this up. Thank you, Winrar. For giving me that Thing and then open this up and you're going to want to copy this these four folders let me just put in my micro SD card and want to Copy these to the root of the SD card. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have all the necessary files. But this is what you would do. And that's all you need to do to set up the R4. So just drag these files into the root of your SD card that you're going to dedicate to the R4i Gold Pro 2020. Now this dude set me the freak up with all these games this is pretty crazy and then he downloaded an snes emulator so that's pretty freaking crazy and he put a ton of games on here so that is pretty crazy but what we're doing today is we're gonna back up gba games so open up your gba backup tool i have a link to this in the description thank you Winrar. And then just drag out GBA Backup Tool to your um, desktop and you can get rid of this. Actually, I won't get rid of it. For yeah, I will. Get rid of the uh, zip file. Then go to your USB drive and just copy this to the root. And then bam. That should be all you have to do. So we're going to open this, and yep, it's all good and dandy, and it'll show up right under our DS games. And so now, if we eject, oh, let me just eject it, we can eject that. Now we can go back to me, and I'm going to go get that stuff ready.
So, this is a little, the micro SD reader that they give you is a little bit wonky. I wouldn't recommend using it, but I don't have an adapter at the moment. So take your SD card, insert it facing, if it's facing the back, you want to insert the face facing that way. Give it a little pressure and grab your DS. I was trying to use an action replay because it has a micro SD slot, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to DLDI patch because the R4 does it automatically. Insert your R4 like you would any normal device and power that sucker on. Now, you're going to see Touch Bomberland Nintendo. That is exactly what you want to see. Open that up. And bam. Here we go. R4i Revolution. And it says 4GB microSD, FAT32 formatted. So, that was weird. I thought my DS was about to shut off. Go into game. And bam, you have all this stuff. So now scroll down. I think it's literally going to be at the bottom. Or give me a second here because. Yeah, I'm going to have to go a little bit. Here we are. So all the way at the freaking bottom, you can see... No, you can't. Maybe if I scroll up one, maybe you can see it better. Yeah, there. You can see GBA Backup Tool NDS. So this is what you want if you want to uh, export your ROMs and stuff. So hit that. Please set a target card to slot 2. And there we go. You just hit A to continue. And then bam, you can see Pokemon Sapphire. AXPE2, which is the uh, game code. And then ROM size, 16 megabytes. Save type flash, 1 megabyte, or 1M, which is 128 kilobytes. And then you have three options. You can either A to, or no, sorry, B to new save file create. So this is to back up your save file. X to change the ROM. And then R to change command mode. So what we're gonna wanna do is change the ROM. <laughs> so I figured out we have missed a crucial step in the process of making GBA backup tool work. You see how it created the GBA backup folder? So what we actually need to do in order to back up a save or create a ROM is go to this website, zofar.net slash save states, and this is where you can get save states because you need a custom save state in order to um, allow the game to back it up. So let's go down to Pokemon Sapphire because that's the game I have in my slot 2 and then go over here to download and bam we got it we got it um, all locked up show in folder and let's get it over here thank you sir now we can close that out close this out go in back into here actually no we don't need this yet go over here into our uh, root of our SD card, drag this in, extract it here, delete the FRM file, you do not need the FRM file, and delete the zip file, do not need the zip file, just take the save file, oop, the save file, and move it to GBA underscore backup. Now, we are ready to continue. So, I'm going to cut again, and you're going to see me 
back when we are in the GBA backup tool. All right, guys, so the audio from my two other clips has been corrupted. So now I'm coming at you with, with a really pissed off me who has computer has been crashing. So I'm going to just show you what my GBA save is before I write it over. And then I'll go back and show you how to back up your ROM and your save because that is important. So as you can see, um, 12 hours, 13 minutes, seven badges, name is Sean, Pokedex 31. And I am next to Kyogre, ready to battle. And now, the other part got cut out, but I just, I went in VBA, backed up the save and the ROM, and um, played a little bit just to show you that it was a different save. So there it is, Touch Bomberland. I don't know if that part got corrupted. So go to your GBA backup tool, hit A, okay so my two save files are here, so you're going to want to hit R twice, the R button right here, twice for ROM backup, this is for backing up your ROM so you can get a ROM on your PC without having to download a sketchy one offline because you shouldn't and that's piracy. Um. As you can see, press B. Pressing B is going to create you a new uh, ROM, and it's going to show up in your GBA backup folder. So that's how you create a new ROM. As for save backup, it's the first. It'll show up first, so you press L twice from ROM backup. It's the first column of command. And you press B to create a new save file, and that creates the new save file. So now, um, hit R once. To save restore then scroll you see how there's blue on the save file scroll down to the one you created you should know what name it is and hit restore data which is a restore data in card from save file and then hit a to run and it's going to restore the save. And bam. So now we can power off. And take out our R4. Start the GBA game. And as you see, if we can get through this. It's going to give you, give me a second, I'm going to check. Yes, okay. So I thought there was going to be a little error message that telling me that the save file was corrupt. But I guess this, is, this R4 is a cleaner version. But as you can see, the music is still blasting and I am not in Kyogre's room. That is where I went when I was doing the VBA thing. So that's how you can also record GBA footage. That scared the crap out of me when Kyogre cried. And that's how you record GBA footage without um, having a capture card, DS capture card. And you just use an emulator and use an R4 to back up your saves and your ROM. And bam, all legal because you're using your own cart to create the ROM. So yeah, that's how you do it. If you enjoyed the video, hit up my Twitch. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.